get started with Xbox 360 console, Connect sensor, and play space. Welcome to Connect, the fun way to bring your friends and family together for extraordinary new experiences. Connect works with every Xbox 360, so if you already have an Xbox 360, all you need is a Connect sensor. If you don't have an Xbox 360 yet, or want to upgrade to the new Xbox 360, you'll probably want to choose a bundle, which comes with a new Xbox 360, a controller, the Kinect sensor, and an exciting new game that everyone can jump in and play, Kinect Adventures. Already have your Kinect sensor? Let me show you how to set it up properly, so you can start enjoying games, movies, music, and more right away. First, remove the collar from your Kinect sensor. Then, carefully place your Kinect sensor on a stable surface centered either on top of or in front of your TV. It can be anywhere from two feet to six feet off the floor. If you have a smaller space, higher is usually better. With Kinect, you use your whole body to play, so be sure your Kinect sensor is close to the front edge of the surface it sits on. That way, it can see all of you. For the best experience, make sure to keep it out of very direct sunlight. Because your sensor needs to hear you clearly, don't put your sensor in front of a speaker or any surface that vibrates or makes a lot of noise. Now it's time to plug everything in. First, make sure your Xbox 360 is plugged into the power outlet. Next, I'll show you what the connections look like for each type of Xbox 360, since they're each a little different. If you just purchased your new Xbox 360 and your Kinect sensor as a bundle, then you'll need to set up your Xbox 360 as well. Connect the composite AV cable to your Xbox and TV. If you're using an HDMI cable instead of a composite cable, plug one end into your TV and the other into your Xbox. Then plug your Kinect sensor into the specially shaped port on the back of your Xbox 360. If you already had the new Xbox 360 but recently bought a Kinect sensor separately, unplug the power USB cable from the Kinect sensor and set it aside. You won't need it. Your new Xbox 360 will power Kinect. All you have to do is plug the cable attached to your Kinect sensor right into the specially shaped port on the back of your Xbox. If you have the original Xbox 360, you'll want to disconnect the wireless networking adapter if you have one. Next, connect the wireless networking adapter cable to the Wi-Fi extension cable that came with your Kinect sensor. Plug the other end of the extension cable into the USB port on the front of your Xbox. Then, plug your Kinect sensor's power USB cable into the USB port on the back of your Xbox console and into the power outlet. Now you're ready to turn on your Xbox 360 console. There are two easy ways to do this. Touch the console button lightly, or press and hold the silver guide button on your controller. Now that you're powered up, you might notice that your Kinect sensor tilts and moves automatically to adjust its vision. This is perfectly normal, and why it's important that nothing blocks your sensor from moving freely. Keep in mind, if your sensor needs to be adjusted, it's better to let the system make its own adjustments automatically, rather than to try and make them by hand. If your Kinect sensor isn't adjusting automatically, you'll find troubleshooting tips at xbox.com support. Now let's make sure you have enough space to play. Clear the area between you and the sensor. For single players, we recommend a play space of approximately six feet from the sensor. For two players, you want to be approximately eight feet from the sensor. Because Kinect tracks your feet and not just your hands, it's important to clear all objects between you and your sensor. Kinect works best for players who are at least 40 inches tall. Also, Kinect needs to see you clearly, so avoid standing in direct sunlight for the best gameplay. That's it! You're ready to insert the Kinect Adventures game disc that came with your Kinect sensor. After it loads, the disc will update your console to the latest settings and then launch the game. While the update is being applied, please do not turn off or unplug your console. When the update is complete, your console may restart. When the game launches, only one person should stand up in front of the sensor. The screen will take you through the remaining setup steps so soon everybody can get up and into the game. Please view the next video, Get Started with Settings, and Xbox Live to finalize your settings, get your gamer tag and avatar, and learn about the dashboard.